Hello, Fight fans. I'm Todd Grisham. Welcome inside the Grand Theater. And here with me, my broadcast colleague, it's Johnny Nelson. Todd, always a pleasure to work with. Here comes the Miracle Man. Saul. This bout is scheduled. We welcome you to this beautiful theater. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. That counter shot lands. An uppercut does not score. Nice counter. Lucky that hook didn't score. It's extremely difficult to beat Canelo Alvarez on the scorecards. Daniel Jacobs learned that the hard way in their first contest, losing a unanimous decision that many ringside observers felt he won. Daniel Jacobs is mad because he doesn't think lightning strikes twice in the same place. He needs to change that thing. Yes, it does. He needs to make sure everybody sees it. The judges see it. The referees see it. The decision goes his way. He's not happy. upset this would be and down goes the miracle man you see many shots like that a simple simple short shot put the fighter down so he's back on his feet but the judges aren't going to give him this round for sure some fighters, when this happens, this can be heartbreaking. Some fighters, it makes them angry. Then they get back into the mix again. I want to know, what sort of character are we looking at here? Both men step back for just a moment. Oh, my! That's a game changer! Oh, I heard that never by saw it. about Jacobs in that last round. A borderline disastrous round, but he's still on his feet. There's always a way back. Don't ever run anybody off. the bell to start the round. Let's see if they can shake off the cobwebs after a disastrous last round. I have no idea what they have left. What, how? How'd you come back from something like that? Not that twice? How, where's your head at? Where's your energy levels at? It tells you you've got nothing left. Look at the footwork, the hand speed. This is the best that the middleweight division has to offer. We welcome you to this beautiful theater where every seat has been sold, but the fans will only need the edge. We expect a standing ovation when these two are done. We've been in everything tonight. And you know what? When you're in a theater, you know you've got to perform. There's no cutting corners. There's no making up excuses because you're going to be so transparent. All laid out there. We're at the halfway point of this round, and both of these fighters have had their moments. Still could go either way. This is a high-octane battle. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Oh, that punch. That hook won't score. The 
jab doesn't quite connect. They exchange punch. Always looking for that KO. And we could see an upset right here. Oh, what a shot. He you know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Talk about Jacobs in that last round. As bad as... They ring the bell, and here we go. That round was complete domination. Let's see if we can shake things up here in this round. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Sometimes when you're fighting a counterfighter, the rounds can get a little boring. You get trigger shy because you know if you throw a punch, one is coming right back at you. They have got great ring IQ. Counter punches are the best. Nope, that uppercut does not score. what we are seeing. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? This fighter's completely content to sit back and let you make the first move. That's where they thrive. Counterpunch is my favorite kind of fighter. A good counterpuncher, they're the people that make the history of our sport. Continues to touch him up. Just misses with that uppercut. Needs to put some combination work. Do you believe what we are seeing? His legs have gone. He's got to get a hands up. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Time, he throws a punch, a receipt. Talk about Jacobs in that last round. They ring the bell, and here we go. Well, they got battered last round. How do they turn their fortunes around? This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get suckered in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him, tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. got two evenly matched fighters in this weight class. It sometimes comes down to who's in better condition. And just as quickly as it slows down, it heats back up. When are we going to see a jab from these two? so far both of these fighters have had their moments this fighter has determined that they can walk through any punches that their opponent throws and that's a very confident spot to be in guys that carry so much power of course they're going to look for that knockout because it makes a night a little bit shorter you don't get paid any extra for overtime he misses with that jab He just misses with that jab. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Let's talk about Jacobs in that last round. Pretty dominant. Hoping for an all-action slugfest. After a really strong round, let's see if they can finish the job. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. 
wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. This is why I love the little guys. This is exactly why I love them. Look at them. Toe to toe, heart for heart. You know, mano on mano. They're letting the shots go. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. The bravery being shown here is just incredible. This has been a very competitive round between these two. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Missed him with that uppercut. Johnny, you know, in the lightweight division, they've got fast hands, so get ready to see some lightning. Look back in the history books. Some of the best fighters in the world were the middleweights. Yes, the glamour division is the heavyweights, we know. But I'm telling you now, you look right there. These guys are on it. Fast, sharp, powerful. But it hurts. And you can imagine A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Jacobs in that last round. Well, it's no secret. And there's the bell to start the round. Last round, complete domination. Let's see what we have in store for us here. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Just misses with that uppercut. one of these athletes is going to be the first to go down. What do you think of what we've seen so far from these two boxers, Johnny? This is what you're going to get. You're going to get speed, good footwork. You're going to get punches thrown from head to body. You're going to get a lot of toe-to-toe. -to -toe. When you've got fighters at these weight divisions, they'll stand there. They don't think they need a win. They need a phone box. good back and forth between these two fighters. Do you believe this? Missing with the hook. Thank you so much for defensive abilities. Beautiful. up in the corner has the white towel are they gonna throw it they're happy this round's coming to an end 10 seconds left talk about jacobs in that last round boy this next round is going to be crucial considering the knockdown we just witnessed to make or break a fighter the bell and here we go gotta get the momentum shift coming their way what can they do here oh listen to me if i knock somebody down like that that round you know this round coming out he's getting everything everything full bow because i know his legs are gone so this you watch what's gonna happen if he doesn't i'll be very very surprised for boxing this is a fight what do you think of this fight so far johnny you've got to be courageous when you get in there with someone that's bigger stronger and faster you've just got to use brain then
We'd like to see more jabs. Pretty close fight here in this round. Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them. More than happy. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. one of these athletes is going to be the first to get rocked. Nice counter. Not a lot of punch. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Jacobs in that last round. It's not over till it's over, but that knockdown is going to be huge. I love the response, though. Got back up. Took a deep breath and got right. Brush it off. Get on with the job. Time winding down as we get set to jump back in the action. And there's the bell to start the round. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not going to happen. He's got a horse on him. He's got a... They do it! It's all coming to an end! Does he know he's hurt him? Look at him! That back foot went! It completely shivered! Did you see that, Tom? He takes a step back, recalibrates himself, and here we go again! It's been a tough round so far. It's been a tough, tough round. What did they do? What did they tell him when he goes to the corner? How are they going to get through this? Whoa, wait a minute! An upset of the... like he's leading halfway through this round. He's back on his feet, but his opponent is licking his chops right now. Look at his corner, look at the instructions. They're telling him to calm down, make the most of the count, get up, breathe, and move. Get behind the referee, save yourself a bit of time. You just need to make your way back to the corner. Somehow, get to the end of the round. The corner need to think nice and sharp. They know their fight. They know what their fight is capable of doing and what their fight can and cannot take. This is going to be a tough decision to make. to put some combination work together. One punch.
they will throw in the towel. The corner has stopped it. They won't be happy about that, but say la vie. And that will do it. This fight is over. They have given up. They don't like that. Listen to them. Oh, listen to that. When he gets back to the gym, 